staff and they called the emergency services. Turns out he died thanks to heart failure as the cafe was filled with cigarette smoke. But the worst thing here is that the other gamers didn't even notice until the forensic team showed up and had to evacuate. The others were so locked into their games that they didn't even notice that there was a slowly decaying corpse in the room with them. Now that's MLG. Number 10. Withdrawal symptoms. A young boy aged 12 named Brett was a huge fan of Counter-Strike. So much so that he spent oh, any chance he got to play it. Which I mean isn't that crazy when you think about it. But what is crazy is his reactions when caught off from the game. It only took him a few hours for him to reach an incredibly dark place. When I was talking about throwing tantrums, he legitimately began to think about committing suicide. He's not the only one that had these feelings, because an addict going through video game withdrawal can experience anxiety, irritability, and depression. They can even feel physical Look symptoms such Mario. as nausea and dizziness. Look at that shit. Number 9. Severe health problems. We're not just talking about getting fat or lacking enough muscle to do anything but wank and move your thumbs. There are some severe health side effects that can be caused by playing games way too much. The first and most prominent one is repetitive strain injuries where your thumbs, fingers, and all wrists have been damaged. If you don't catch it and treat it early, the damage can be a lifelong chronic pain. Then there's all the problems that come with being sedentary, sitting down for too long is not healthy, and it can cause heart failure. One kid reported that he had played WoW so much that he had developed deep vein thrombosis, where a blood clot forms due to inactivity. If untreated, the clot can travel into your brain or heart and kill you. Number eight. The extreme Tetris effect for the few.